so we're on our way to number 10. Uh, Dirge, if I remember correctly, is number 10. The big sandworm. He's a pretty cool one. It's another one that we can use aggro in as well. I believe, if I remember correctly, he is to the southwest. We'll see as soon as we stand up here. Like down, yeah, right down there. Yep, okay. Let's go, Agro. Right back into it. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the only bridge is that one. You need to get yourself a cool GPS sword. Only works in direct sunlight, though. <clears throat> Random bird. There's so much to this world that you never see if you just go straight to the Colossi. Like, us just heading straight there. There's so many little nooks and crannies. That even if you go and try to like get all the fruit and stuff, you can easily miss. There's plenty of like little beaches and stuff that there's nothing there, but it's part of the world, and that's really cool. Like they built a full world, even though it's you know not all used. Have we sat at that one? We have not sat at this one, so I'll take a seat here before we head on. Just to get it on the map. We got a lizard. He's going to be here somewhere. Don't see him. Lizards are a real pain to get. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So, we need to head more to the right. He's all the way, like, out this way way over there <clears throat> way off by zone mm -hmm. yeah, I know there's like some point uh, at a cliff face like this where you can go down and there's a little beach area <clears throat> I think it's somewhere over near here Whoops. Shouldn't try to use the camera and control aggro at the same time. At least aggro is smart enough not to just leap to your death. Oh, there's the little beach, I think. Yeah, down there. Off in the distance. This guy takes a minute to get to. Yeah, we need to go around. Yeah, like a lot of a lot of them, there's like two ways to get to them. Like we can get to him this way, or we could have wrapped around the bottom where those like crumbling bridges were in the distance. Just once you beat him, you never have to go back there. Did we get the fruit off these trees? I feel like we may have. I feel like we got those. Mm -hmm. Wrap around this big mountain and we'll be right on top of him. He's just in a cave around here. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll 
we'll rest here. Just in case. We shouldn't die, but it's always a chance. <clears throat> and you do need uh, aggro for this fight. <gasps> Lizard. Oh, right around the... There he is. Dead? Please be dead. Nice. That tiny amount of stamina. Um, up oh, there you are. Agro, the teleporting horse. Hey, Flays. How are you doing tonight? You got here just in time for Colossus number 10. Whoops. Good old dirge. Can't wait to see what he's all about. <clears throat> he's pretty straightforward. He's very different than any other one, though. Because Dirge is a big sandworm. He's one of the few I always remember the name for. Mulgara, yeah. Alright, so, Dirge, you need aggro. You want to get his attention. He'll start chasing you. And, let's see, where is he? There he is. Come on. You want to, like, get him to run into the walls. Whoa, that's no good. If you can get him to slam into a wall, he'll be stunned. There we go. Got him. Now get out of there. You can shoot him in the eyes to make him spin out of control. Oh, he didn't hit a wall before he regained control. That sucks. Oh no, he did hit a wall. Okay. And now we stab. This is one that can take a while to figure out on your own. Like, I remember just running around, uh, n not knowing what to do, because he just chases you. Yeah. Yeah. I always wish you could, like, play a game, like, wipe a memory from you, from you. And play a game for the first time, a second time. Because it's nothing like playing the game for a first time. Especially something like this where you're like figuring out how to do it. There's a lot of games I wish I could play for the first time. Oh shit. Again. That was not a good uh, dismount. That's wasting time. Okay, here we go. Grab on. There he is. 
Come on. We wasted a lot of time. We might not get enough to uh, finish him here. Oh, please. No. One good one. Got him. Good start to the stream. Dirge went down without a problem. Alright, so... Number 11. Number 11. 11. I can't remember which. There's, It's one of two. I always get two mixed up what order they are. They're both up north, though. Because if I remember correctly, number 12 is the big lake monster. We're getting close to what I would probably say is my favorite one. Phalanx is my favorite. I'm excited to get to him. Next foe. Altar overlooks the lake. Guardian set loose. It keeps the flames alive. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's try to grab a bird first. I always want to try to grab a bird. For the hell of it. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Again, like with the fish last time, it's uh, no real reason to do that. So, yeah, straight up north. Just gotta double check, make sure I'm not going to the wrong Colossus. Yeah, it's the one that's directly below the, uh, the bridge here. I will say if um if you can get your stamina high enough, you can climb on top of the temple that you go to every time you defeat a Colossus. There's a little patch on the back that you can climb up, but it requires a huge amount of stamina. Like you're not getting it on your first playthrough. You have to do like New Game Plus. Cause even on New Game Plus, uh you keep all your upgrades that you've gotten from eating fruit and lizards and killing colossi, and you still get upgraded again as you play through it on top of what you bring over. So you can get extremely strong. Like if you're on like new game, like plus plus, like you've gone through three times or so, you can get to the point where you can kill a colossus in one good stab because you just do so much damage. We got most of the uh, left side cleared out. Just a lot over on the uh, northeast and south. Only six more to go. Hopefully they can all go as smooth as Dirge did and we can just blow through this. This one here is pretty cool as it is pretty much the smallest 
It's the smallest colossi uh, we've seen yet. I believe there's one smaller, slightly, but he this one's one of the smallest ones you'll see. He's in this big hole up ahead. Going for it. Nice. I was very worried I wasn't going to make that. All right, we got to get up there into the temple. This one's a small one, but he's still pretty fun. <laughs> Some of the Colossi have really cool arenas you fight them in. This one's pretty cool looking, but uh, functionally not much. Number 15 has a really cool arena, and 16. Let's do it. Hey, come and get me. Ooh, that's no good. Get up, Wander. Oh, he's bullying me hard. Yeah, he just feels like a like a cute like cat. Oh god, he's kicking my shit in the like he's just a big big lion or something. Is what he acts like, like how he moves. Got it. Oh. Well, I got the stick, but it's... Fire went out. We gotta relight it. Oh. He doesn't like it. Smith Glosses. Get back. We just gotta hope the flame doesn't go out, which it probably will. Boom. Now his back's open. Now you can do a big cool jump stab here. I doubt I'll get it. Oh, I didn't get the stab, but I landed right on him. That's pretty cool. This one really makes you feel bad, Ashley. Oof. Sit still for like a second, please, dude. What is it, the fact that you actually see him scared of the fire and you just shove him off the edge? This one doesn't have a ton of health either. You can just go for smaller stabs like that. You don't really get a chance to fully charge. I 
I'm gonna fall off here in a second. Got him. Okay. One more. Got him. That went very well, too. Oh, he's trapped me in the corner. Okay, we're good. Nice. Let's keep this pace up. And we'll blow through these last couple. Only five to go. This next one's uh, a bit more involved than the last two. Because <laughs> Dirge, it's just make him run into a wall, climb on him. For that one, it was just scare him off the edge with the fire. And then just jump on him. And I will say again, it is it was really fun like figuring all this out your first time through. Like getting him to run into the the fire to knock a stick out and scare him off the edge. It was very satisfying to figure it all out. Next foe. Paradise floats upon the lake. Silent being wields thunder. So we just had one of the smallest ones. Let's fight one of the biggest ones. This one takes a bit to get to as well. One of the more involved fights and uh, traversal. Come on, Agro. He's right over here to our left. Right up there. Not far we have to go, but it's a lot in the way. You can really see all the pillars showing up now. Yeah, we haven't had to go up this way yet. Pretty much the only time you have to. There's a whole nother forest up here. That's some good looking water. Mm -hmm. Oops. Let's go sit it here. And we'll head up there. He's up at that other waterfall behind this shrine. Let's see if we can find another lizard. Oh. Don't you move. Oh, he's just slowly backing up. Oh, I knocked him off, but I don't think I killed him. Nice. Okay. It worked. In the end, we got there. That's all that matters, really. Because I think I didn't have that hard of a time killing a Colossus. Oof. Lizards are a pain. All the time. Especially the ones on these little shrines, because they just run all over the place. And there are a lot of them. All over. I think there's like a, a trophy for, for getting them all, or something like that. I don't remember. 
Trophies in this game aren't too bad. Most of them are just story based. Like I think you get one for killing each Colossus. Yeah, here's that other forest. Gotta go through here. Oops. This one's really fun to fight. Always have a good time. Man, this game looks so pretty. Mm. Alright, calm down. I think there's one more shrine up ahead before we actually get into the lair. The big lake. Maybe, maybe I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, I think that's it right there on the side of the, the cliff face. So if I remember correctly, there are two ways you can get up onto this guy. Both ways involve you having to like, have him lose sight of you. Hit the lizard. What are you doing, Wander? Hit the lizard. You fool. He was just sitting there. <gasps> Damn it. <laughs> I want him. Oh, I should just try to shoot him. Get him, aggro. Oh, camera. There we go. No. Oh, I shot his tail off. That works. That's the only part I actually need. Macro's <laughs> scared of the lizard. It's a nimble lizard. All right, we've made it. We're getting lucky on lizards tonight. Hopefully that keeps up. Having a little bit of extra stamina makes a difference. Just being able to hang on for a second more. Get that one extra hit in. If I remember correctly, this is the third tallest Colossus. Like, you can look up, like, the, the actual heights of all of them. I believe he's number three. It doesn't quite seem it because he just stands in this lake. But he is quite large. Here we go. This is also the only Colossus that does not have visible eyes. Let's do it.
So you have to make him lose sight of you. And you can either do that by hiding behind something or hiding underwater. If you have enough stamina to stay underwater. But it can be a bit troublesome to actually get behind him. If he has no eyes, how does he gain sight of us in the first place? Oh, we're almost behind him. I'm gonna run out of mm, stamina, though. Okay, here we go. Nice, that went quite well, actually. I like that uh, it's all moss on him. It's not actual fur like all the other colossi. Alright, we just gotta get up to his head. And then the fight can actually start. Here we go. So he has these big teeth. Uh, oh, easy. You want to whack him. Played this game on the PS2? Yeah, I, I originally played the PS2 version. Played it on the PS2 years and years ago. I'm pretty happy with uh, this remake on the PS4, though. It's nice. Alright, come on. Climb up. Nice. You like it too? Yeah, I mean, it didn't change much. It just looks really nice. Alright. One more time. Yeah, he'll break whatever one you are on. This is uh, definitely my favorite game of the three that this team has made. Out of uh, Eco or Ico, however you pronounce it, Shadow of the Colossus and Last Guardian, this one's definitely my favorite. Like by a by quite a bit. scared to sell if you're hanging onto something and it just plunges itself underwater. I'd just be scared of something this large in general. It's quite intimidating. Some of the uh, some of them aren't too intimidating just looking at. This guy's a piece of work. Alright, uh, the nearest one straight ahead. Oh, not that way. Turn. that one <laughs> you just have to lead him over to one of these so you can get on top of it all right turn nice Are you coming straight up? You're not even going to try to look for me? Awesome. That will be your demise. Camera, please.
Perfect. That went very well. There he goes. So let's see, who is next? Okay. I'm ready to fight Phalanx, for sure. I always forget about these little scenes that come in between a uh, certain Colossus. Our little bit of story. Yeah, actual people. We're going through this a bit faster than I expected tonight. Last one takes a while in and of itself, so. Next foe. Fast desert lands. Giant trail drifts through the sky. Favorite one. So this is down in that large desert to the southwest, where we fought the big beard boy. It's definitely one of the coolest. Like, most people agree that Phalanx is one of the coolest, if not their favorite. So yeah, we have to go back down through the little forest, and we'll be there. Or, yeah, that's the fastest way for sure. I think there's like a little shrine to rest at in the forest, if I remember correctly. But yeah, if you haven't seen uh, what this game looked like on PS2, you should look up some screenshots of it because compared to this, it is very flat. Not to, like, uh, shit on the game, the PS2 version, because it's fantastic, and it's a, one of the best PS2 games. This game looks really nice. Not to mention, uh, how do you do it? There's, like, the, uh, settings? Game? Display? HDR, motion blur, filter. You have little filters you can do. Which is neat. Mono, yeah, you can just do black and white. Film grain. It's pretty cool. Like, you can completely change how the game feels. By, like, putting it in... Like, Frigid's really nice. Or Night. Turn the whole game to Night. 
It's really cool. It's like if it's like, cause it's the type of game that I play through just occasionally because it doesn't take long and it's nice to just be like you know what I want it to be a little different I'm gonna make it be night or something or I, I like frigid a lot where everything turns that like shade of blue especially in these forest areas the they look real nice with the the god rays coming through the trees Mm, let's grab some fruit. Is there no fruit? There it is. There's the fruit. And they both fall all the way down here. Worth it. You know what? I did expect that to be a bit deeper than it was. Come on, Agro, make your way down here. I swear I saw one up there. Was it higher up? I can't see it from this angle. That's whatever. I don't need the health that much anyway. Yeah, like this whole little swamp area. It's nothing down here but some fruit to eat. And that's cool. Come on, Agro. Oh, fine, I'll just climb up to him. That is one thing, if you do happen to fall somewhere, get separated from aggro for a bit, it does take a while to get around on foot. We'll get here eventually. When the game figures out where to put him. There he is. No. Yeah, 180. <laughs> Luckily, there's really nothing in the way uh, to get to this Colossus. Because, like, how all the Colossus have uh, their little arena that you fight them in. We just got to get down to these ruins. That's all we got to do. That's one of the reasons this Colossus Phalanx is super cool. Because his arena is the entire desert. <laughs> I just love it. it's like, all right, that's Phalanx, go, get him, climb that. There we go. You want to pop those, like, gas sacks on him to make him drop lower. And then eventually he'll be low enough to grab onto the tips of his wings.
Oh yeah, he's dropping down low. We gotta hurry up and catch up to him. And try to cut him off. There we go. Where is he? Okay, he's right above me. And there we go. And just hang on. Come on. Hang on. He's gonna do a barrel roll. This one's just so cool. That's why it's one of my favorites. Just soaring through the air, running along its back. Sand bird involved into the sand dragon. Like, it's just so cool just being out in the middle of the desert with all this going on. Oh, he's closing. He's closing. Oh yeah, he wants me off. Yeah. He will submerge. All right. Let's do it again. Where is he going to come out? Gotta wait for him to pop out again. Throw a few arrows his way. Rinse and repeat. There you are. Please don't hit me. Start laying into him quick. You can get him as soon as he comes out. Ugh. Not quite. Got two of them. Not easy to hit. There we go. I think I got him. Yeah, there we go. He's bleeding out. So let's try to hop on a little further back this time. If possible. If he gets low enough. I think we start to climb all the way up. But we can just run straight back. Come on, aggro. Pick it up.
There we go. Oh shit! That did not go as planned. That went quite bad. Just as the music was kicking in. I jumped when I shouldn't have. Momentum. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's try this again. Okay. Let's just play it a little safer. Cause I was trying to climb up him as he was rising. I just got bucked off. We've got a good amount of stamina, so. way to the back. He's got one more after this one. Has some impressive grip strength. Alright. Get those stabs in. Oh, he's one away. He's only one away. He's gonna submerge, isn't he? Yep. Damn. That sucks. Agro? Where are you? Always there for you. Alright, pop on out so I can shoot you and get that one last stab in. It's always the worst when you fall off like, so close to finishing him. There you are. Oh, God. Okay, Agra. Okay, let's go hit that one last sec. Nice. Drop on down. Let's get up there and finish it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I was cutting it a bit close. Oh, 
Ooh. Shouldn't jump. I say as I jump. You can move a lot faster, but it's real easy to just not land back on the Colossus. And you're done. Thirteen down. Man, why couldn't all the ones at the end of the last stream go this well? We had some real trouble with a couple of them last time. It's like number four and number nine really gave us a lot of trouble. Now 14, which is another one quite like number 11, the small one. Fourteen kind of has like a, a cinematic arena. The arena is a big part of the fight with him. Next foe. Guardian set loose. Lusts for destruction. Let's go. This one is all the way to the north. Just looking. I haven't shown it off, but if you were to explore all the way in the very south, there is a big door that will not open. Like the very south where those last couple of clouds are on the very south of the... Uh, continent. It's a big door. Yeah. Gotta head north. Yeah. There's no reason to go down there yet, but if you happen to explore, there's quite a few shrines down um, on the southern area. Bunch of fruit and lizards and such. Did not go far enough this way. Look how the map marks where the Colossi were defeated. Never forget. Yeah, it is cool. Because, uh, I don't know if you remember, but it was all covered with clouds. And whenever you defeat a Colossus, the spot where it was, the clouds blow away and it's replaced with just their face. Same thing with shrines. They, uh, they clear out and show the shrine. And then you get the big pillars in the sky shooting out from each of their corpses. You can get on that bridge. It is possible. 
if you go uh, back there to the temple, you can where you can climb up, you can jump onto the bridge and just walk across it. That is not a way we can go. All the way up into the right, or not, or am I horribly wrong? Oh yeah, he's all the way up this way. Got it mixed up. Wrong side of the map. We got to go all the way across to the northwest. Northeast is the next one. So fast thing, we'll go up around number seven and down into it. We rest there yet? Yes, we have. You get this nice calm ride to the next Colossus to just think. Just a man and his horse. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, beat this game faster than I thought we might tonight. We've barely been playing for an hour, and we've only got three more to go. Figure out something to play uh, after we finish this, then. Almost there. Yeah, we just need to hang a left into these little narrow spots and then a right up to the Colossus. Please. Love all the variety of environments you run through. You've got the big, like, big green fields, the mountainous areas like this, the desert we just went through, the dense forests. It's really cool. Some of it really reminds me of, like, the scenery of New Zealand. Lord of the Rings style fields. It's the correct way, right? Yeah, straight up here. This guy shouldn't take long. There is a like set amount of time it has to take though. Agro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Just go around it. So make sure I didn't end up going the wrong way. Let's get up here. Rest at the shrine. Yeah, this cloth is very much way out on his own. Right up there. Give me that fruit. Okay, I thought I saw the lizard, but I guess I didn't. Yeah. 
Okay, Agra, let's go. If he's like right up this cliff. Mm -hmm. This one's arena is pretty cool too. Like I said, it's more of a, a cinematic thing. Oops. Which makes him a bit different than all the others. Which is nice when you have a game that's nothing but uh, nothing but traveling and boss fights. It's nice to have some good variety in the bosses. I appreciate games like this, though. There's not many. Fury is another one I always think of with this kind of thing. That game's really cool. It's nothing but boss fights. It's a bo it's boss fight, walk to the next boss fight. You gotta stay there, Agro. That game's tough, though. I might have to stream that at some point. It's not very long. It's only like, what, like, not even like 10 bosses? But it's really cool, and it has phenomenal music. whole city. City. It's not very large. <laughs> and there he is. Number 14. Just a, like a boar. And you want to get off the ground quick. Because if he hits you, he can stun lock you and you die. <laughs> This is what I mean by it being more, a more cinematic fight. Because again, he's uh, like the other one where it's he's all armor. So we have to break the armor off of him. Come on. Got to take them off a little bit. Oh, that's no good. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Glad he wasn't too aggressive. don't need that. Okay. 
You just gotta domino your way over there. That's pretty much it. There we go. And he's uh he's dumb, so he just keeps doing it. so good. Cannot stress enough how good the soundtrack of this game is. Come on. Side. Saved it. Last one. One more time. If oh, get up, Wander. We have looped back around to where we started. Hey, buddy. You want to try that one more time? Alright. Now we can take him out. Very similar to uh, number 11 at this point. Oh no, how did I miss that completely? Yeah, you just want to get to a higher platform than he is and just kind of leap onto his back. If you can get up there. There we go, we got him. Just lay into him. Nothing he can do at this point. And he's down. Yeah, there's really nothing to that fight besides uh, just having him chase you all the way around. And then you just jump on him and stab away. Two more to go.
can't remember the next one's name. This is bothering me. Let me see here. Let me actually pull up. Next foe. There we go. Thanks uh, for having a wiki for your game. It's always great when there's something you want to know about a game, you can just pull up a wiki. Yeah, we are about to fight. Oops, I scrolled too far. We just fought Cenobia. We're about to fight Argus. Who is all the way at the top right. Argus and then Malice. I always remember Malice because he's the last one. Now there's Valus, Quadratus, Gaius, Phaedra, Avion, Barba, Hydrus, Kuromori, Basaron, Dirge, Celosia, Pelagia, Phalanx, Cenobia, Argus, and Malice. And they all must die. back up here pretty straightforward route to this guy and to uh, at least to the area of malice these last two are really cool oh, that's right there's a cliff there we have to go around I almost made the same mistake twice. Oh yeah, um, if you have uh, an opinion, Flays, I was looking at our Mario Mario week we're doing, the tomorrow starting, and on our Mario Kart day, we plan to do Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, and Mario Kart 8. We want one more in there. Do you have an opinion on if you would rather see Double Dash or uh, Wii? Because I'd like to I'd like to do four of the Mario Karts, but I don't know if Double Dash or Wii would be better. All right, let's sit here for a second. I hear the lizard lizarding about. Double Dash is usually better, but you haven't seen Mario Kart Wii in for, uh, for a while. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Like, um, I've even streamed Double Dash before, and I like I do like Double Dash. Oh, poor lizard. But uh, I haven't played Mario Kart Wii in a long time, and that's kind of why I was weighing the two of them. Cause playing every Mario Kart, like it would be nice to do them both, but that would be a lot to play like. Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, Double Dash, Wii, and then 8. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. 
We'd have to do motion controls if you played the Wii one? Of course. If only I could find my, uh... What do you call it? The, the steering wheel. Shit. The big dumb steering wheel you pop the, the Wii mode into. Made it. I could have just gone around, but I wanted to climb that. It's like, I want to do Super Mario Kart, because that's the first one. Then Mario Kart 64 is just really good. And 8's the newest one, and also really good. If I had a good way to do multiplayer, I would uh, want to do, like, DS. But I don't have a good way for, like, to stream multiplayer of that. Or Super Circuit. I also want to try to line up some good Game Boy Advance games to stream at some point. I have a handful I want to stream, but I want to like really go down a list and just make sure I'm not forgetting any really good Game Boy Advance games. Just got to run all the way down here. And we'll fight Argus. Big boy Argus. Just got a big stone sword club thing. And that's him. He starts off mad. It's on his head. Oh, don't hit me, please. Okay. He didn't quite reach. Alright, so we need him to come over here. Because we, uh, we can't reach it. We have to climb up so we can get to him. So, we need him to give us a hand. We want him to try to step on us. Which he's going to do. Come on, try to stomp. I'll shoot you some more. Make him real mad. Here comes the stomp. Now we can reach it. Gotta take him off some more. Let's get him real peeved. Here it goes. That knocked down some bricks that I almost just jumped right off. Camera? Camera, do you want to work with me? There we go. We're almost there. over to the bridge and we can leap down onto him. Gotta watch out because he can destroy it. Come 
on. A little closer. Can't quite make that. Don't swing. Just take a step closer. Oh, he's going to swing. I think I'm okay. Just barely. Don't miss. Yeah. Whew, that was close. Perfect. Get the stabbing. And it goes away just when you think you're about to get him. So his last one is down here, where he can easily shake us off. It's another one that has like a weak point that doesn't do damage to his health. You just gotta hit him here. If we can get a chance. There we go. Get him to drop that. See if we can manage to get into his hand here. I'll be very happy if we can just get in there and get the stab. Him walking makes it hard, though. Perfect. Oh, we have so little stamina left. Please. Please, sir. Oh... Nailed it. If you fall off, you have to do a whole other thing to get onto his hand. But you can kind of shimmy your way down there from his shoulder. Perfect. One to go. Just malice left. Excited for this one. You can really uh, tear through this game quick. Like, you see me just casually going through it, but knowing what I'm doing, you can kill Colossus very fast. Especially all the early ones. Next foe. Or finally. Yeah, it is the last one. Ritual nearly over. Wish nearly granted. So now we can go to that big door I was talking about. We can go through there now. All right, Agro. Let's do it. All the way to the south. Mm 
Mm. And that's pretty much all that's left. The only other thing really in the game is doing the time trials to get the special time trial items. I won't be doing that uh, on stream though. But you do get some cool stuff. For beating uh, each one. The handful of items you get from it. I believe to the right's the fastest. Yeah, we'll just poke on through there. Head straight across the field. Since we haven't stopped at this one, have we? We haven't. Not that it's a huge deal at this point in the game, but why not? We've been stopping at all the ones we pass. I hear the lizard, I think. Oh yeah, he's just down here. Please die. Got him. That tiny bit of stamina. It's only worth it. Uh, I'm not going to stop to grab the fruit from that tree. There's no real point. Just make her way down here. there's one more shrine once we get through this door that we can stop at. I'm not going to worry about all the ones down here that we missed. Because there's no real reason to ever come all the way down here except for this last Colossus. There's so much just open nothing. Like all that. There's nothing down there. Uh... Come on, Agro. You know what? Sometimes I just do this. I'll just jump down. And just... Tell Agro to find her own way. She'll get here, eventually. Faster than going all the way around. Probably. She'll get here. We do need her down here. Eventually. Gosh. Maybe it wasn't faster. <laughs> it's taken aggro quite a while. That's okay, though. Here we go. Right at the end. Let's get this door open. The path up to Malice is really cool. Onward. Yeah, there's like a shrine around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right there. I'm not going to bother stopping at it. Whoops. 
Sorry, aggro. I can't help but just run aggro into things sometimes. What am I doing? What am I doing? I should have sat down. I'm not the one that's supposed to fall there. <laughs> Why is our first game over? Reset the run. Jesus. Oh, God. Why didn't I sit down? I should have sat. Oof. <laughs> My arrogance. Yeah, we don't need to sit there. It's not like we're gonna die. It proceeds to die in the next room. That's rough. Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna have to waste a few seconds running back. Let's actually go around that big cliff this time instead of, uh, just jumping off of it. However we can. I think we can get down over here? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, aggro. I'm going to sit this time. And attempt to not to just do that. I think the camera angle changing just kind of messed me up. It's like I knew that that bridge fell. Oh, damn it. Jump for it, aggro. You refuse. Shouldn't take her long to get around from here. She has to go around. Please don't take long, aggro. You can do it, aggro. Oh yeah, you can really see all the uh, the pillars from here, all 15. There she comes. Alright, we have learned not to fall off the bridge. God, if I fall off again, I'm just gonna be done. That was the dumbest mistake. It stayed open. Or no, it didn't. Ooh, what a bug. <laughs> I guess dying there, the door stays open. But the, like the, yeah, the swirly thing is still there. Interesting bug. What's it going to do when I shine the light there? That's a weird bug. Is that consistent? Like, if you die like that without sitting inside? Hmm. Weird. Alright. Let's get up here. Sit down, so we don't have that accident again. Please, yeah, there we go. Save that game. Kill that lizard. God, why is he so hard to hit? Okay, Agra. Let's do it right this time. Yeah. 
Oh god, too fast. A bit too fast. Please aggro? More than a, a, a slow walk? It did it again! Okay, I think I just need to hold forward. I don't know why this is an issue. Oh boy. Oh my. Like, I feel like I'm moving the stick to compensate for the camera, but I just need to hold forward. I don't know why my brain doesn't remember how to deal with that. As many times as I've beaten this game, and I still die to that. Oh yeah, I don't know if you uh, if you notice because you never really get a close look. But if you really zoom in on Wander here, he gets pretty rough looking by the end of this. He gets progressively worse every time he kills a Colossus. It's less noticeable here than it is in the original. In the original, in the original, in the original, it's quite noticeable. Like I would say to to look up like a comparison. Of how Wander looks. What the hell? What the actual hell is going on here? What is the deal? Like, I'm confused. And upset. This bridge is a jerk. <laughs> I've never had this kind of trouble with this bridge before. You just go across it. Like, for real. Hey, Jack Pickleson, it's, it's going rough with this bridge for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Or rougher than it's supposed to go. <laughs> At least. And I don't know why. Slow down, aggro. Don't need you slamming into a wall. Alright, aggro. We're just gonna go across... Well, I'm gonna go across this bridge. Don't take me down with you. Finally! I don't know why that was such an issue. And the rain falls. Is this the remake or HD version? It's the uh, remake on PS4. You love this game? I love this game too. I played the PS2 version a lot. Um, played the HD version a bit. Was whatever about it. This remake though is really nice. I would definitely uh, recommend it if you have a PS4. This is totally worth it. I was pointing out earlier, there's a lot of cool filters you can put over the game as well. To just make it look a bit different for like second or third playthroughs. Yeah, the PS2 one as well. You agree it looks so good? Yeah, it looks real nice. Yeah, there's a... I can show it off real quick again, because it only takes a second, uh, second here. Display. Filters. Yeah, and you can, like, change it to where it's always nighttime. Add that. 
just a whole bunch of different looks. Just slight differences. You can change the intensity as well. But it's cool just to be like, yeah, make it nighttime. Let's not fall. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite PS2 games. But there's so many good games on the PS2. Definitely one of my favorite consoles. So many good games of all types. There's stuff like this. You got great RPGs. All kinds of stuff. Whoops. There we go. There's Malice. The big dude in a weird dress. For whatever reason. PS2 is your childhood. Yeah, I played it so much throughout like middle school and everything. Every day after school, I'd want to play it. I have a lot of PS2 games. I want to stream some more stuff on the PS2. I streamed through uh, the first Sly Cooper game, if you're a fan of those, like last week. And it was fun going back to that. Alright, so he's going to shoot weird beams at us and we need to not get hit by them now there is a uh, some speed run strats where you can just run straight up to them if you do it perfect but we're going to do it the uh, intended way which is to go through these tunnels so you don't get blasted Yeah, I did do, uh, recently just, like, went through random games that I wanted to show off, but didn't, like, want to stream all the way through. Yeah, there was a weird paintball game. But there are a lot of games on the PS2 I want to play all the way through. I'd like to do Final Fantasy X at some point. And then I guess ten two after that. We've already done Resident Evil 4. But, like, Silent Hill 2 would be real fun. Oh yeah, Lil John skateboarding, uh, Tony Hawk American Wasteland, where you can play as Lil John for whatever reason. God, why is Lil John in that game? Yeah, PS2 is full of all sorts of stuff. Classics and hidden gems and piles of garbage. There's some bad PS2 games. But I take all those. I love it. I always viewed it as my favorite. Like with the, the Super Nintendo at a close second. But honestly, the, the PS4 has so much now that it's becoming one of my favorites overall. Oh, I'm going to get hit. Oh, nailed it. We're almost up there. We're not almost up there. We're almost to his feet. We're almost able to start climbing. Here we go. Right, am I wrong? Do you start climbing on the inside? You start climbing on the inside. Whoops. I forgot. There we go. Let's make our way up there. Mm. This part isn't that bad. He doesn't really do much to stop uh, up you till you get above his waist. 
Whoops. Let go a little early there, but we're good. There we go. Get around to his back. And start stabbing. Yeah, so you gotta like hop around on him a lot here. Oh, I'm not holding on to him. I'm not holding on to him. <laughs> I just got caught up in his fingers. Whoops. Let's try that again. Yeah, so you stab him in the back, then you hop to the hand, or he's going to take it away. All right, we got to stab him again. That did not work out as intended. <laughs> yeah, bring that hand around. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. Get him in the bicep. Oh, don't shake me off. For an enemy that's just standing there, he is quite intimidating. Oh. Oh, God. Don't fall. We're good. We got this. God, yeah, you don't get long to uh, transfer hands. Wow, why am I having trouble with this? I really shouldn't be. Let's regain a little stamina. Please. I just can't make him jump backwards. For whatever reason. There we go. We got it. We're going to fall. Oh, we just need, like, I just need a little more. Don't. This is going to be bad if we fall. Yeah. Damn it, dude. You're supposed to jump to his uh, neck there. Just wait for that to recover. That sucks. And we're good. That's lame. I hate that, man. There's no reason I should have fell. I knew what I was supposed to do. It's 
See, why couldn't I do that the first time? Just immediately. Alright. Climb up. Please, please climb up. What are you doing? Come on, buddy. Make it on top. And when he holds you up, you just jump to his face. So just gotta wait for my chance. That was not my chance. Oof, almost fell. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. <laughs> I somehow managed to land on his other arm again. Somehow. Son of a bitch. This is the worst. And again. We'll get there eventually, guys. Sorry about the fact that I just keep flubbing this super hard. Past two few went too well. This one couldn't go perfect. Yeah, but there's really not much to this one, you know? It's really cool and all. That's right. You gotta shoot him in the shoulder. Forgot about that. That would have helped. Totally forgot about the shoulder thing. Oh yeah, and like seeing his like shadow, if you can. We're seeing the shadow of the Colossus, like over the area you just were. Yeah, like that. Whenever the lightning flashes, that's super cool. It's a good shot. He's not liking it. He's not having a good time. <sighs> one more good one. Oh, come on. Got him. Yeah, I totally forgot about shooting him in the shoulder to make him grab it. That is the closest I've fought the least, because a lot of times when I just play this game, I don't play all the way through it. 
I'll end up playing to like seven or eight and then stopping. And then I'll come back months later and just start a new save. Either that or just do like the time attack stuff. Congratulations, you've killed them all. Now you get your happy ending, right? Love the remake look. Glad you caught the stream. Glad you're enjoying it, uh, Jack. Again, yeah, the remake is really nice. Came out, what, last February, I believe? Thanks for following. Appreciate it. They made it literally like a second too late. Uh, but yeah, I play a lot of a lot of older games, PS2, GameCube stuff. Uh, occasionally new stuff if it catches my eye, but usually just playing through older games like this, or remakes of older games in this case. So if you're into that, uh, keep an eye out. <laughs> what did it cost? Ending of this game is really cool. Like, even in relativity to the rest of it being super cool. Okay, you get the, the slight glimpse as to how he was brought back every time. He looks fine. Yeah. Walk it off. He looks rough. Right in the leg.
Now he's bleeding like the Colossi. I like that little touch. so good. I love how this game can is like really a statement as to how video games like are in art form and you can do a lot with them. While still making an extremely enjoyable and fun to play game. Now I am the Colossus. Time for some completely different gameplay. Dorman looks really nice in this remake, too. It's like... Oh. You're in control. Smash. turn our way around here. Oof. You are not fast in this part at all. It's quite cumbersome. Please, Dorman. Let's get after him. There's not much you can do, really. I didn't land many hits in. Didn't do great.
How long can we last? Yeah, and it plays the music that plays whenever you kill a Colossus. That's so good. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> All right, how long can we last? Gotta fight it. And how big did you grow your stamina bar? Like the amount of like emotions and feelings they can bring forth just from little touches like that is really phenomenal. Goes. I'll have to get around to streaming uh, some of this team's other games, Echo and Last Guardian, at some point. Because those are both, both good games, too. This one's definitely my favorite of the three. But the other two are good and worth visiting, for sure. Do, do, do. Never played either of those. Didn't know they were connected until recently. How is The Last Guardian? Last Guardian is good. It's, uh, it definitely has, it still has the feel of this, but it's very different. It's very different. Um, same with Ico. It's very different game, but it still has the feel of it in both of the art style and the controls. Agro made it.
Yeah, Last Guardian is, is good. Finding your way, like, through dungeon areas and such with uh, Trico and all. It's really good. How do they connect with the lore? Very, very tangentially. You can play each of them individually in any order. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just they all seem to take place in the same world is about all you can really gather. There's no, no direct connections, really. Yeah, they're all like spiritual successors to one another. But definitely worth it. Um, Definitely worth looking at. Because this is the, the second of the three. Because it was Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, and then years and years and years later, uh, Last Guardian. And again, this one still holds up. Both the original and the remake here as my favorite of the three, by far. But I would recommend, if you do enjoy this game, to uh, to look into the other two. I'll, I'll probably end up streaming them at some point. But like I said, I stream all kinds of different things, so it might be a while before I get around to it. Because like later this month, I know I'm, I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII, so that's going to take a little bit. Beautiful game? Yeah, beautiful. In more ways than just visually. That's what I love. It's beautiful and not just visually. Like, everything about it just is full of emotion and feeling. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream, Jack Pickleson. It's always nice to have someone show up that really likes the game I'm playing. It's always nice to see someone, even like just through chat, that enjoys a game I really like as much as I do. Thanks, man. My streams are usually a little more a little more populated than it is tonight. It is a bit of a slow night. Yeah, one thing that, uh, oh, see ya, uh, Jack Pickleson, thanks for stopping by. Have a nice night. Oof. Don't need this controller at the moment. Hopefully it won't freak out when I unplug it. Just let the credits roll here. 
Yeah, so this one thing here kind of connects it to Ico. Ico, Ico. Because in that game, you play as a child, a horned child. And it's like, is that related to Wander being reverted into this at all? I don't know. Even though Ico came before, so it would be this being related to that instead of the other way around. Like, this almost gives me, like, a, a Studio uh, Ghibli vibe in just the, like, I don't know, the world or whatever. It feels like a kind of world you would see with this big ancient ruins and such. Like a Laputa Castle in the Sky kind of thing. Yeah, kind of amazing how Agro survived with only a broken leg. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, miraculous. But look. We'll be able to survive. So you can actually get to this place in game if you uh, have enough stamina to climb to the top of the shrine. Like I was saying earlier, how there's a bit you can climb. And you get, like, a not unhappy ending. Like, Mono and Baby Wander are trapped in this forbidden, forsaken land or whatever. But you see that life can be there. You got little squirrels, little deer. And we close out following the hawk flying away the same way we started. The first scene starts watching this uh, bird fly in, like, over the mountains. And you close out on it flying away. I like that. I always like media that does something cool like that. Opening and closing on similar uh, terms. Oh, the music's so good, though. So good. Yeah, bookends. This game is is really great. Two thousand five to two thousand eighteen. Yes, that's when the original came out. Two thousand five remake last year. Yeah, 
end. Good stuff. Enter time attack mode. New Game Plus and Mirror World. Mix it up just a little bit. It's like playing Twilight Princess on the Wii. Oh yeah, and then you can see the scene we open on. Yeah, I shot of the Colossus. Uh, can I load this with all Colossus I defeated, normal plus one. Is that... Oh yeah, that's just my save when I beat it when it came out. So yeah, we could load in and you would start the game. Uh... with the stats you had at the end and you can just keep doing that like as much as you want until your huge health bar and you're killing colossi in one swing and all the uh, images you can unlock concept art and such some really nice stuff characters Or is there like, there's like comparisons, isn't it? Yeah, comparisons of how the game used to look to how it looks now. As I said uh, earlier, it was very flat on the PS2. Like, very flat and uh, not as good lighting. Like, look at that. Like how much more detail they etched into everything. Especially on the, the shrine here. Like I forgot it was mostly just rocks. A lot of bloom. It's blowing out. Oh, you have to fight things in reminisce mode to unlock. Or defeat Colossus 2 on easy. Okay. That's some nice stuff. What are the, uh... Buy. No, don't buy. The disc is in there. <laughs> what are we missing? Obtain all time, time attack items. Max out wonders, health, and stamina. Beat hard mode in under four, 5 hours, 41 minutes. Feed eight Coloss Colossus eight before it can turn back over. Yeah, that was the the salamander one. You have to knock off the wall. You have to kill him before he can like one cycle. Cross the bridge to the entrance. Play pray at all shrines. Taste the poison fruit, which is uh, if you climb to the top, like I said, if you have enough stamina to climb to the top where the game ended, you can eat the fruit there, and it lowers your stats instead of raising your stats. Defeat any Colossus with the Queen Sword, which is the thing you unlock for uh, Time Trial, and kill a Lizard with a Special Arrow, which is another thing you unlock for Time Trial. Oh yeah, there's the thing I was talking about, how you can beat him without breaking his wrist guard. If you manage to like just jump around it, beat a playthrough without dying, beat the game, use Dormant's Breath Attack, all stunts on aggro, and pretty much just beat. Interact with a dove, hawk, fish, turtle, beat everyone. Find a barrel hidden in cave. Yeah, I'm gonna feed everyone. That's pretty much it. Really good game. Wow, it's only 13.6 gigs. That's pretty impressive that a game of that size looks that nice. I guess it's not huge, but it's really nice looking. It's high fidelity. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna wrap up there for tonight, since we've got that all done. Um, I'll be on tomorrow, we're gonna be starting our Mario week with Mario Party 2. Follow it with Mario Kart, Mario Sports Games, 
more Mario Party 7, I believe, and then a playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Should be exciting. I'm ready to get it started. I'm excited to play Mario Party tomorrow. It's been a long time since I played 2, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.